What's up guys, it's Ten Kosh and today we're doing Idle Skilling Beginner's Guide, um, more like first steps guide. So people who just started the game will uh, get the smooth start, understand how the game works and won't do the beginner mistake and get the best progression they can for starters. So let's go into it. We will start with the training here. Uh, for the training you have uh, four dojos available for you, the gym. Oh my god, what's this? Hello, a bit later. I'm not ready for this yet. Uh, the gym. Here you get the basic training. Then you got the attack dojo, the strength dojo, and the uh, health dojo. All of those are essential and necessary, but I would advise to level up your um, strength dojo quite a lot, because here, specifically the basic upgrades are really cost efficient. I managed to get to level 27. Take a look at the gains we're getting here with this speed. So gains per second here are really really good and uh, you would like to focus on several things first of all you would like to focus on gaining water because water is your xp and the faster you level the more perks you will get the more skills you will get the more money you will get the faster you will grow so that's essential uh, that's why you want to upgrade the value of your bench of whatever you have a little bit and try to balance the cost to be honest that will be nice speed is another thing that will increase the speed basically and what the cool stuff the animation speed here is actually based on the speed factor over here. So that will give you faster gains per second. Now you can switch between different things and see uh, what the cost is in order to maximize the gains here. Same goes for the attack and everything else. But let's do some upgrades here. We don't need that much strength to be honest. Uh, attack to be honest. We want to have a lot of strength. Why? I'll show you in a second. Let's go to this one and to this one to claim all the XP. There we go. Uh, so yeah, when you are training, each of those training skillers that you have here will have their own status, which you can see here. Like this one is strength, this one is attack, and uh, this one is health. So you want to to balance those things, those stats at the right yourself. And I advise going for something that I have over here, maybe a little bit more health. Because when you go to the fight, we are fighting pretty high level enemies already. Let's uh, heal up. And uh, you want to take them out fast. As you can see, our attack allows us to get 86% hit chance, which is pretty good. It's not best one, but it's okay. But the damage is essential because you want to take them out fast. And how you want to use this, those meteors, so they should one shot them most likely. Uh, it's working pretty well so far. Then you want to use Flurry and Poison and, you know, you want to fire them, farm them like crazy. And as you can see, we're getting a lot, a lot of money from it. So your goal is to take out enemies as soon as possible and unlock those skills as soon as possible because they will be the game changer for you. You don't need that much health if you one-shot the enemies, right? So you can farm them like that and get insane amount of money that you can put into more training afterwards. If you're injured, you can do some healing and keep going. So uh, honestly, like the build I have right here, it's it's pretty good. I like it. And I would advise you guys to focus on Flurry and Meteor so far. We will get to the Smite skill really soon and maybe we will be, be able to see it as well. But for now, that's what we have here. And try to go to the highest tier enemy as possible in order to get the most uh, gains per second. So you need that money, you need that gold. Now, what do you do with the gold? Obviously, you invested in the training rooms, just as we figured out already, so we do all that. But that's not it. We actually would like to improve some of the uh, health training. We will get the new skiller here, so we're waiting, that's funny. That doesn't uh, make you stronger that much. And we will upgrade those a little bit, so the running will be actually more runny more fast this one is really expensive though so um it's cheaper honestly guys it's cheaper to upgrade the first tier thing to the stats of the second tier thing you will spend less money and you will get way more sweat from it and you will get more stats from it so keep it in mind uh when you are deciding if you want to upgrade or not here you can get the totals that will give you gains per minute and we'll show you how it works basically your gains now another thing is crafting crafting is essential part of your growth we will get to perks later it doesn't give you sweat though but it gives you a uh, crafting xp which you will need in the blacksmith mostly so uh, mining here those miners are separate and once again 
if you want to get additional miner it's better to upgrade the first one because you have to upgrade them separately and as you can see the value here the cost of upgrades is neglectable it's really low so you can do it no problem uh, each time they will finish the animation they will mine some resources for you that you will be seeing here the stored resources another thing is fishing kind of the same stuff you upgrade the power of fishing and it will randomly pull the fish for you when you get to the next tier of fish you can get the next hook that will give you the better fish you can use the fish and the ore in the crafting over here uh in the blacksmith and in order to craft you play uh, you click on the anvil and select what to craft there are different options here i advise you guys to get a little bit of fish witch here that will give you HP recovery, some copper trinket that will give you percentage damage, which is nice. Broken dagger, I don't know, I don't think it's that good because it gives you base damage. So it's not fantastic. But if you have extra resources, you can do that. Um, moreover, reinforced XP, petty theft and all that stuff won't be available for you early on because it requires you to get the better gear. Oh, let's get this one. And when you craft, do you see forge users over there? Bam! You will have those being limited and they recover over time and you can't do anything about that but doing perks. So that's actually a pretty good bonus here. And you need to unlock more anvils later on to do it more efficient. So each forge will have its own forge uses and you have to wait in order to do enough crafting. So you have to balance your resource gain and the crafting over here. The higher the stat is the more resources you will need. So Probably you don't need to overdo the blacksmith upgrade, but decide for yourself. Now, uh, let's move on to actual perks. The main thing that I want to tell you. First of all, mm, you want to unlock all the stats. I don't want you guys to do what I did here randomly, getting too many claw upgrades. Just do one, so it will be threat, threat attacks early on, but after that, don't do that. You would like to unlock Meteor as soon as possible, so go here. Unlock Meteor, unlock this thing with the Forge Charges here, because that will help you to get more uh, Forge uh, crafting easier, faster. But Meteor is essential, Flurry is essential, that will allow you to do so much more damage. After that, you might want to invest in all skills damage, but only after you will unlock the Smite. So, how much does it cost? 5. Let's get the smite for ourselves and see how it looks. Never tried it myself beforehand. So, yes, you want to unlock all your offensive skills and that will be your main path. Here I unlock the poison only. So, your top priority will be getting the attack skills. Now we got the smite. Let's see how it looks like. Oh, it is nice. It is nice. It works good with the flurry together, with the poison, with the claw. That will allow you to take out enemies faster. And I advise using Meteor outside of those, because Meteor is usually one shot in the enemies. If it doesn't for you, then you can use all skills at the same time. So that will give you crazy gains of resources over time. Take a look at that. We just entered here and we got so many things straight away. A vision here, by the way, it gives us critical chance. So. We can use that one together with the smite and together with the poison and all the skills. And that will just mess up the enemy like all the skills. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Yeah, it's funny. It will increase your killing ratio, which you need to go to the next tier of enemies. And it will give you... Look at that, we already have 10k gold right here. It will increase your gold gain quite a lot. So from here, uh, another thing I want to talk about... Do we have time for this? I think we do. Uh, I was fast in this guide. Good. So... Uh, Another thing you want, those enemies, sometimes they will drop cards, so you have to pick those up manually, and uh, then you can assign them, you can use them. Those will help you out because they will make your stats better. Let's see if we get some drops here. No, not sure. Let's get to the next year. What's that? Monkey. Poor monkey. Why we are taking the poor monkey? Oh my god. But, yeah. The further you are, the more money the enemies will drop, the higher your strength is, the easier it will be to take them out, so you have to balance it out, and get as much money as possible and the higher tier enemies the better i think that goes like this it, there is nothing really special about it so yes try to do that try to maximize your damage to the enemies it's really fun now uh for the cards you want to press this and press the cards here over here you got the list of the cards that you have you can equip three of them and each of those have specific uh stat 
Like, for example, this one gives claw damage, so you don't really need it. This one gives smithing XP from crafting, so that's nice. This one gives monster damage reduction, which will help your survivability. This one gives you accuracy, which is nice as well. So, uh, try to collect as many cards as possible from all the monsters. And then you will understand which ones works for you. I'll make a specific guide for cards later on when I will learn them myself. When I will get more cards, but for now... I'll just leave it as it is, because um, you just know, need to know the basics. If you need to buy the card slots, that will be a good idea later on, that will help. But it costs 100 gems, and uh, I'm not sure if you can get the free gems in this game. Yeah, honestly, here, all I can see is that uh, everything here costs money, so probably we will get free gems later on into the game, because, I mean, otherwise it kinda does make it sense, does make sense, but we will see, I'm not sure about that one yet. Let's kill some more monkeys and use that money for the upgrade so you can see how efficient you can you can be when you get the, the upgrades ready. So monkey has been massacred, this looks really evil to be honest guys, really evil. But yeah, let's go back to training and uh, it's important to go back to training from time to time to go through those areas to get those rewards that you gain there we go another level right here so uh yeah and as i said try to upgrade try to balance it over time you will unlock everything of course but for now try to balance everything focusing on the strength and the health that will be your best bet and uh, adjust as needed so if you need extra attack you can do it pretty easily uh if you don't hit the enemy properly so our hit chance is 90 percent it's, it's valid it's good and yeah, you don't need that much more than that. So yeah, look at that. Good damage output. So yeah. Uh... So guys, okay, so at this point, what you need to do is uh, farm money, take out enemies and train. And train as hard as possible. You will need to get a lot of levels to unlock new things. It will take time. Uh, in order to unlock portals, you will need to kill specific enemies. So you gotta defeat the key master for that. I think it will be available later. Once I encountered death here and I got scared, did nothing and it went away. I don't know, maybe it was a special enemy that I had to kill, but I got scared. But um, yeah, basically that's what you need to do. And it's pretty straightforward and easy and fun because uh, the balancing between those things is the best thing in my opinion. And uh, the speed is actually showing you the amount of cycles per minute and other stats, same stuff, uh, amount of things per minute. Here you can see the totals of your gains and that kind of stuff. So, uh, a lot of fun, guys. From here, just level up, balance your things and go. And uh, in the next guides, we will cover more things. Because here, it's pretty basic. Uh, so, you can learn the game yourself if you want to. If you don't want the spoilers, this guide is perfect for you. Because nothing else will be spoiled. You will unlock more things as you go. And you will have the right skills available for you. To take out those goddamn powerful strawberries. <laughs> so yeah guys. Let me know what you think about this guide down below in the comments. And if you have extra tips for the beginners. That will be useful in the long run. Let uh, them there. Write them there in the comments as well. While you're going there. Don't forget to like the video. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Make sure to check out the video description for the playlist for Idle Skilling. There will be more videos about this game over there. And also there is a link to with my other YouTube channels, Discord and social media. So you will find something useful there for sure. Other than that guys, thank you very much for watching. That's about it for now. Stand and push out. Have a good one.